everyone, here I am again. I'm Emmy, and Theo is going to give me a new haircut because it's very long. Yes, it is. So, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, let's start. Hello, friends on YouTube. I'm glad Emmy is back. Yeah. Now, you see Emmy a lot, of course, in my videos, but yeah, that's because we love each other. Yes. But you never saw me with such long hair. No, I never saw her with <laughs> such long hair. Now she chose the purple cape, so she gets the purple cape. And we decided to go uh, into the asymmetric again, because uh, this side is very long. And what everybody may think, I think when she gets older, 20 years from now, then it's still a beautiful yeah. hairstyle. But to make some change in hairstyles, we sometimes go to a different hairstyle. Now we go back to the short lines again, leaving long and getting a real nice new color. Starting with wetting the hair. Watch at the folds of the hair, watch at the skull lines. We also have quite some outgrow, I see now. Yes, it's a nice color. Quite a bit. Yeah. Gonna bleach it with uh, glint bleach, but the new product into the bleach. I put a photo also when I made the bleach into the video so you can see what I put into it. It's a two step program, but it's really nice for the skin and also for the hairs. This I will certainly leave as long as it is, but when I watch at the lines, I can already see the skull ball laying. So I want to get in this line, moving up, and then come around the eyebrow. So there I go. Parting myself the first line. Do this about three centimeters above the ear. Clip it to the side. So now I have my other part free. I can really do some haircut. So go in in the same line as the eyebrow. Lift the hairs up. Put my comb on the line of cutting and take away the hairs. Oh, this feels so good again. <laughs> Free the ear. Yeah. I've been putting it behind my ear all the time. Yeah, I can see it standing yeah. out. <laughs> You have an outstanding ear. Because at a certain moment it was so long that I just felt it wasn't, it didn't look nice anymore to have it straight down. A bit to uh, a to boom boobie. pot. Yeah. <laughs> a flower pot. <laughs> That's not an English yeah. No, I know. I don't know. It's a combination it. of Dutch and uh, English together. It's English. A flower is a flower and a pot is something else. <laughs> Yeah. But in Holland, a pot means a lot of things. Yeah, that's true. So I don't explain it to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't refer to that. No, I know. One. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I get my hair. <laughs> Make a nice soft line. Don't use a clipper. I love to play with the scissor. Already have starting points behind the ear. Wet it again a bit, not too much. Don't have to be totally wet. Put it in my comb, put it back into the line of the eyebrow. I take away the hair steadily above it. Scissor sounds very sharp. Yes, it is very sharp. It's a really nice Kiona scissor. And it's a light scissor, so it works very gently for me as a hairdresser. Yeah. It gives a light feeling of cutting. Must have changed so much over the years. Yes, but it always changed because you, they have to change, otherwise they don't sell scissors. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I mean, for you, you have years of experience with different types of scissors. Yes. 
I, I get a lot of scissors by uh, yeah by internet because I can see new scissors and I ask them just to set over the scissors so yeah. I can compare them to each other and there's a lot of difference. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes this the first part is too uh, sharp, so you don't uh, li you cannot lift the hairs with it because uh -huh. then it gets stuck into the hairs. Okay. And sometimes the scissor is even too sharp. And when a scissor is too sharp, you have a feeling of uh, yeah, danger. A, a scissor has to feel just the right way. And uh, yeah. you cannot explain that for every hairdresser is different. But it has to feel like this feel one good. with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too sharp. Like it's an extension of your yeah, fingers. For my fingers. Makes sense, because you are not a sharp person. And there's also a difference in um, the length of a scissor, and there's also a difference in the balance of a scissor. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you can yeah, balance the scissor, and when you have a... So now I work in a free hand, so my finger is off yeah. the scissor, but when I want to stable this, I put my pink on it, uh -huh. and then I have a real uh, steady scissor. Yeah. But I don't like to work that way because I love to adapt the lines of the skull. Yeah, yeah. So I need the freedom of moving with my scissors. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm halfway. Hmm. Leave this for the clipper, of course, because it's such small hairs. Again, wet it a bit. In the center, the hairs go to the left and the right. So I have to follow the natural lines and go in the opposite line. So it's a bit swinging over the center of the skull. And I do only the other parts with the normal scissor. Then I go to the hot scissor because it's much better for her hair. She loves swimming, so she needs to have a good haircut and to have better hairs even in six weeks from now. Yeah, and it still might, I think it's now about eight weeks ago mm -hmm. since we were, but I think it still feels good. Yes. And I think back then you also cut it with hot scissors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big difference. Yeah. Now I'm this far. So now I watch at the line, I can see the line laying here. So I need this line to cut to the point where I love to add. I got two uh, films to Two films to kopen? Yeah, on a South American uh, TV maatschappij. Welke films? Yeah, it's from two old dames. Two oh, YouTube films. Serieus? Yeah. What leuk! Ja, hebben ze gevraagd. Ze, uh, oh, ze volgen je. Ja. Nou, this I leave because this I can do with a small clipper, of course. So, that I do in the underlines with the clipper. In the underlines, take a large flat comb. The nice thing of a large comb is they can really adapt the lines of cutting. And on this light hair, you can really see the hair is really nice because that comb is black. <laughs> Oh, and I'm so happy you're taking away this because there's like little furry hairs <laughs> and they kept on growing. Normally Joost takes them away, but we forgot, kind of, and, and they just grew yeah, You longer. want to live from Rotterdam. <laughs> Otherwise, I would do it once a week for you. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> so welcome for those who are watching from uh, abroad, Rotterdam is one of the nicest cities of the Netherlands. It's very modern and very nice people and it's a real mix of Dutch, Dutch society. Yeah, very multicultural city, yeah. really nice. And it's the second largest city, so you have Amsterdam and Rotterdam are pretty close, near, yeah, nearby actually as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. In Holland everything is nearby. Yeah, that's true. Even for Dutch standards it's nearby. Yes. Because in the Netherlands, people generally already start complaining. The largest distance is 360 km. Yeah. 
From the top to the bottom. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> From there where there's nothing to do to there's nothing to do at the other side yeah, also. Yeah. <laughs> no, there you can go to Belgium and Germany. Yeah. And on the other part you can go to the islands of the Netherlands. That's it's also awesome. very, very nice. Really nice. Yeah. Now come to the part that is. And clean the contour line, of course. So, now I can free the upper hair and do this with the hot scissors. Take out clips. Don't need them anymore. Just leave the hair in the natural fold. So the parting line is a natural parting line. Go about a centimeter or two above the line of cutting. I put my scissor on 140 degrees Celsius. This seals the ends. I take a fine part of my comb, hold my fingers in the same line as the eyebrows, Do you get blistered when you touch your own fingers no, with it? No, because your hair is wet. Uh, and then I don't burn my fingers. Oh yeah. And the part that's leaning on my fingers is protected. Oh, that's also a good thing. By a shield. <laughs> it's the best. Yeah. Stay watching at the natural lines, so be sure you stay working at natural lines. Give the slight graduation to the inside. This by bending my fingers, so I give the same rounding with my fingers as I can see on the skull. This way I have a much better fold to the hairs. Free the upper hair. Ladies also on the same line. Start at front again. Rush to my fingers to the hair that you already cut. Go on the rounding, bend the hairs again into the rounding, so adopt the lines of the skull. Give it a slight rounding. Go over the center of the skull. They are free and travel over the line just to get rid of the natural differences in length. This is because there are other ways in the hair than just going down or to the back. And now I come to the longer part. 
I can see the parts that I have left there. I know I have to go to there, so I take my comb, point my line to that point. Set the hairs aside. Wet it again. Comb the hairs. Point to the line where I want to go. Sit on the sides to see the lines. Leave it a little bit longer than the line on the other side because they are lay almost on the line of cutting. But here I need also the way the hair falls in. So I come to this rounding, and there I go, give it the graduation to the other side. So I know for sure that I have the nicest lines on the scalp. So adopting these lines in the natural fold. I see how wonderful this falls, because it's a nice straight line going down. Take a new line on it. Part of the upper hair side. And now I don't have to pull the hairs because I need some volume there. So I just push the hair a little bit back and turn up it so I can go into that line. And in the freehand style I go in the same line and cut this line. So now I know for sure that I have some volume that gives this the rounding, so don't pull free. And I still have the dramatic effect of a hard line on the sides. Now go to the front. Wet it again. Ik ben het zo snel Ah, dat is een eigenlijk. Ja, soms is het Watch at my line at the front. Here I want to go. Hold my fingers in the line. Knowing that this part will be turning back, but behind the ear, because there's a curve into the skull and into the neckline, the hairs go to the front again. So there I have to adapt the line in a graduation to the front. And when you cut like this, you get more aware of how beautiful the skull is and the shapes of a skull are. And I really love to work with natural lines. Can go to the line of cutting. Watch through the hairs in the underlaying lines. Be aware of the rounding to the back. On the ear, the line goes a bit to the front. Later has a natural fall. Correct the line a bit. Come to the last upper hair. And I really love this color because it's a very cool color. It's a violet silver. It's real cool. I did it with shampoo. Don't tell them that. They oh. want to try it all. <laughs> okay, my secret. Pushing the hairs back again a bit. Cut the hairs in a natural line. When you think, when you have uh, this kind of colors and it's too violet and you want to get rid of that because some people don't like it to have violet hair after shampooing with silver shampoo, then you set yourself a nice English tea and put the tea over your hair and dry hair and just dry it and then the violet is gone. We do it in dry hair? Yes, in dry hair. <laughs> on the running of the crown area, I 
put the hairs a bit in that rounding and then push them back again a bit and this hair is a bit strange because when she goes swimming they can do strange things and it's only a, a few hairs so why would you leave them on? Oh you mean when it's wet? It's yeah. Oh, yeah and you get the crazy fold we have. Now so far the cut so now I can make a color gonna make a bleach with uh, 20 volume that's enough it and feels so nice again <laughs> does it let me feel it oh it feels so nice again, again. <laughs> <laughs> okay made color I made a platinum blonde of glint put some developed glue in it and this wonderful product I show you that also in a photo this comes in a package with two, normal it goes also in bottles. So first you set in into the bleach part one and by rinsing out your part two. Mix this product into the bowl. And I'm going to apply the bleach. In her case, of course, I start on the outgrow. Which looks almost yellow <laughs> compared it is a bit to the yellow <laughs> compared to the color you have. Yeah. And so of course it's all I have. Okay, take some fine parts of carton wick, lay them around the contour. Just to prevent heat around the contour. Cover this up, control it in 50 minutes, and I tell you afterwards how long it took. And what I did to get it that far. <laughs> So don't go away, we'll be back. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, back from coloring, just to rinse it out, put uh, no yellow shampoo on it and not a toner. So this is the lighting up. Now, I, you know I started with step one in the product. Now I'm going to start with step two. And this I put into a toner conditioner. So we're going to give it this really wonderful uh, pink lavender <laughs> color. First. Put step two into the bowl. This seals step one. And I put the product also in the bowl. Mix this into each other. Really love the smell, nice and soft. Nice and soft. I didn't smell it. No, it's really soft. <laughs> You will certainly do. <laughs> and applying this on the hairs. Leaving the other parts out so they will just be blunt. This lavender product is of uh, Keunen. And step two product is of Glint. So applied on my hair. Exactly. <laughs> like now, this I massage into the hairs. Just leave it this way because uh, I left out this part. So this is just blonde. And the rest will be certainly this nice uh, lavender violet color. The rest over she can take with her at home. We'll be back. <laughs> okay, back. So now I take uh, this product. It's a real nice product of Glint. Take one amount, like uh, a large ping pong ball, something like that. It's a leave-in product, but you can also style with it. it smells really delicious. Yes, it does. Come this through the hair. Okay. 
start blow drying in the length of course and work my way up. Nou, de kleur was eigenlijk zien. Ja. Spannend. Heel zacht. Ja. Heel mooi. Ik tag je wel altijd. Hm? Ik tag je wel ja, altijd. Ja, ik kijk wel altijd. En ik, uh, ik reageer ook wel, ja. maar ik doe er zelf niks mee. Nee. Ik zou ook niet weten wat... Ik zit gewoon veel meer met Instagram dan met Facebook. Ja, ik niet. Nee. Geef het zo vaar. Using a real nice hairspray of Glint. This smells also delicious. Yeah. And this is uh, Emmy's new hairstyle. Thank you for watching. She will certainly turn, so you see the end result. And till next time. Bye bye. Zal ik mijn vest aantrekken? Yeah. Yeah. My new hairstyle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Theo. What a welcome, love. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Here I am again. I'm Emmy, and Theo is going to give me a new haircut because it's very long. Yes, it is. So, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>